Well, today we'll be watching the Supreme Court as the justices hear a case that could determine whether former President Donald Trump can appear on the Republican primary ballot in Colorado. That's right. We have team coverage this morning. Bree Jackson is on Capitol Hill with the issues before the justices. But we're going to start with our Joseph Almo live outside the court where people started to gather overnight. Hey, Joseph. Hey there, good morning from along East Capitol Street, right alongside the U.S. Supreme Court, where people have been lining up, not just overnight, but for the past couple of days. This is the very beginning of the line here, and the folks who are at the beginning of the line told me that they've been here for two days waiting to see these historic oral arguments live and in person. Remember, anybody can be in the Supreme Court for an oral argument, but it's on a first come first serve basis. That's why you see a line this long. I walked through it, I don't know, about 45 minutes ago and I counted upwards of 75 people here along the Supreme Court waiting to get in. It is a big deal here, of course. Uh, it's another one of former President Donald Trump's uh, legal challenges, but it's one that's happening here at the Supreme Court. And it's all about deciding whether or not he is eligible to be president again. Back to you guys. Joseph, thank you. Now for a look at what's happening uh, inside with the arguments later this morning and the potential impact of all of this. Bree Jackson live on Capitol Hill with that side of the story. Bree, good morning. Hi there, Jimmy. Well, as Joseph mentioned, this is a big deal. This is a legal challenge that could reshape the presidential election. Today, justices will hear oral arguments over whether former President Trump should be disqualified from running for president. Now, this comes after Colorado's Supreme Court kicked the GOP frontrunner off of the state's Republican ballot, pointing to his role in events leading up to the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. The Colorado Supreme Court ruling cited Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which says, you cannot serve in federal office if you've engaged in an insurrection. Now, Trump claims this case is an effort to stop his latest run for the White House, and his attorneys appealed to the, to the Supreme Court, arguing that the Colorado decision would disenfranchise millions of voters. Now, today, justices will hear both sides. And barring a quick ruling, former President Trump's name will remain on the Republican primary ballot for March 5th. And even if the high court does rule against the former president, he will not be immediately disqualified from running. The issue will return to individual states. Jumi. All right, Bree Jackson, live for us. Thank you.